Yo, what's good, guys? Welcome to another tutorial, and this is episode three of the mixing series we started. Sorry, guys, I really delayed in bringing out this episode three because I've really, really been so, so busy, guys. But I just had to find time to actually shoot this video. I'm not even using my camera; I'm actually using my phone because I just have to shoot, shoot this um, video. So sorry, guys, for the delay. So without wasting time, if you're new here, kindly subscribe to this channel, turn on the post notification. So whenever I post, you get to know because you know my cap posts amazing stuff. And I post all the time, and you definitely don't want to miss out. And this series has been really amazing. I'm getting lots of feedback saying this is nice. This is we can't wait for the episode three. So, guys, this is episode three where I treat the backup vocals. So I'll go straight into treating the backup vocals. No much talking just you guys just try to follow along and if you have any question you just leave it in the comment section and i'm sure going to reply your comment you know how we roll so without further ado let's go right into our daw which is fl studio and you know you could apply this step in whichever daw you use just understand the process behind what you do all right so let's listen then we go to the backups Girl, I just see the things you do. Anytime when you touch me, I get good. Oh, baby, don't you leave me, no, no. Take a shit, la, la. Oh, say, yeah, oh, baby. I can't feel I'm like for brain. They drive me insane, insane, yeah, ah, yeah. Oh, say. Okay, so I'll just focus on the the backups and i think he, he has already panned it before sending it to me so we have the middle we have um we have the left and we have the right Things you do to me, I get goosebumps. Anytime I do, girl, I just see the things you do. Anytime when you touch me, I get goosebumps. I get goosebumps. Oh, baby, don't you leave. So it's good you, you you spread out your vocals, pan it left and right, so it fills up the what should I call it? Fills up the space. So that's why we have some pan to the left and some pan to the right. Girl, I just see the things you do. Things you do to me. Anytime when you touch me, I get goosebumps. I get goosebumps. Oh, baby, don't you leave me, no, no. No, no. Take a shit, la, la. Oh, shit. Yeah. Mokbe. I did feel I'm for brain. They drive me insane. Insane. Yeah. Okay, so basically what I'm doing here, just bringing my fruity balance on, on I, I routed all the backups to one insert, and there I have my fruity balance, I have my auto tune, I have my EQ, just try to cut out some frequencies that will clash with the main vocal. And the, just add a little bit of reverb. And the funny thing now is, is that, I mean, the sweet thing about this is that the vocal, the backup is coming after the lead vocal. So it's just like a call and response. So much, much effect, uh, much difference won't be there without the, much difference will not be there with the lead and the backup vocals. Had they been there together or it's underneath it, then we can try to treat the backup differently. But this is just like a call and response. And baby, I did feel your body move. Anytime I did, you know, and baby, I did feel your body move. Anytime I did, you know, so everything here is still routed to the vocal boss. Routing in FL Studio is kind of a bit confusing. I don't know if it's so for other DAW, but it's kind of confusing. By the time you start seeing all these wires underneath, <laughs> it 
it gets kind of confusing, but basically just try to just try to pause and follow up. Anytime I do you zoom. I see the things you do. Things you do to me. Anytime when you touch me, I get good. I get good. Oh, baby, don't you leave me. No, no. No, no. They can see the love, love. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, great. I can feel I'm so great. They drive me insane. Insane. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, shit. You get space for my life. Basically, what I'm just trying to do is just trying to balance everything. So let me just try and boost the vocal a little bit. Touch me, I get good. I feel the vocals drops at that point. So, so I'll just try to boost it a little bit. So basically, I, I really love what I'm hearing. So I don't know about you guys, but I really love this. You could try to give your backups different effect. For this, most of the backup effect, I give it like a radio feel. So you could decide to give it whatever feel. You could decide to add more reverb to yours. Like, just be creative. Mixing is all about being creative. Like, don't be so focused on one step that I must apply my compressor after I've done my subtractive if EQ. I can't do any I can't do any subtractive EQ again. No. If you feel something is wrong with the vocal, even if you've done your subtractive EQ and you still feel something is wrong, you can sit through in an EQ and do some corrections. So don't be so in the box and just be focused and say this is what I learned. I have to follow this way. No guys, you need to be able to experiment. This is a craft. You need to be able to experiment and see what works for you guys. So in the next episode, like I said, the next episode, we will be mastering this vocal. And it's not going to be different from my previous mastering tutorial where I use T-Rex. T-Rex is what I used to master my mix down. So guys, I hope you learned something from this. I know I didn't do much actually in this episode. Just wanted to show you guys that. I listened and I saw that, wow, this... This backup is sounding, sounding really cool the way it is, and I, and I love it. So, guys, you just go back, you listen to what you've done, sit down, play it on your speaker, play it on headphones, and make sure the mix is right before going to the mastering stage because basically mastering is just boosting 
the vocals, making everything sit well, carrying it to that standard loudness level. And that's what we'll be doing in episode four, where we round up this tutorial. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the post notifications. So whenever I post, you guys get to know because, you know, Micah posts amazing stuff and I post all the time. You don't want to miss out. See you guys in the next episode and yeah. 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 Yeah.